What's going on guys, King Trats here back another video on the channel and today, man we got Wingstop at home. <laughs> uh, I was gonna get Wingstop because I was in the mood for it but I kind of decided against it at the last minute. By the time I decided I want wings it was already closed which is okay because then we can kind of keep it low key and make my own so we got Wingstop at home. I got to make one of the flavors that I never really get to have because it's not on the menu all the time but it's one of my favorite ones they have. With a little spin on it, so we did some lemon hot garlic wings, which is a Wingstop flavor mashup. They like to keep stuff not in them, but that's fine because I'll do it myself. So let me take you through the process real quick. Of course, we have the party wings, the wing drums slash flats that you can get. I already got them chopped up this way, I didn't have to do it myself. They were on sale, you know how I get down. Just put those in a bowl before we clean them off, and then we added some baking powder, lemon pepper, garlic, and onion powder as well as some Nashville hot seasoning for a little bit of the spice on the dry version. We tossed that up, put it into the air fryer 375 for 15 minutes. Then we turned it over another 15 minutes, made sure they get nice and crispy. And then we had our bowl, which we had some garlic, regular chopped garlic, as well as some truff, hot sauce, and then some honey, sugar-free honey, not too much, just a little bit of it. And we tossed those in there, and then we added some more lemon pepper, plated those off, and that is what we have. You see it, I see it, I'm drooling, <laughs> as usual. I wasn't gonna put anything on the side of it, um, because I was just gonna have something off camera, but I wanted to show kind of like some of the stupid, they're well, not stupid, but you know, little things that I do off camera, kind of low calorie meals that I just kind of get my nutrients in. So we have some kimchi, fried well it's not rice it's cauliflower but it's in the same manner bag of frozen cauliflower which of course we already steamed off put it into our wok with some of this kimchi i get it in the uh, produce section it's like organic vegan i don't know it's kimchi put that in there and then we added some fried rice seasoning and tossed that up with some mixed vegetables and at the last minute uh, i added a little bit of a can of chicken breast it's canned chicken breast. That's some of the stuff that I do off camera when I don't want to make like a whole, but I need my protein. Um, so we toss that up, add a little more fried rice seasoning. You could add soy sauce and all that good stuff if you want to, but I didn't because I didn't want to do too much of the sodium. We did have an entire deep fried calzone yesterday. I can't help it. It's, it's delicious. So that is the meal. That is what we have. I don't have any reviews, man, because there was nothing review worthy. I'm still on the hunt as usual, but I had to grab my drum first. I ready to get in there? I, that, that, I like ASMR drool. <laughs> Damn. We got wing stop at home. Mm. If y'all know what that joke is, that's at least in the my house like mine. Sometimes we're gonna move for something and we got the we got food at home. And then you come out, be good anyway. Damn, what am I getting? Damn, that's good, man. I know y'all like the flats, so here I have a flat. Flats suck. I'm not a flat guy. And I'm not doing the umbrella things. I don't feel like it. That's ah, delicious. Y'all gonna be lying, bro. I really be liking this, though. Sometimes you just don't feel like cooking, you know? But when it gets done, it's kind of like working out. Sometimes you feel like working out, but you're always glad when you do it and it's over. Hmm. All right, let's get some of this fried, not fried. It's so much better with rice. Cauliflower obviously isn't as good as rice, but put it in a pan and kind of let it cook to get some of that moisture out. That's the only thing I don't like about cauliflower rice is that it's kind of like soggy, wet. I don't like that. But other than that, this is the kind of stuff that only a small percentage of you care about, but those that do, try that out. You don't have to use kimchi. You can use whatever kind of seasoning you want to and kind of just play around with it till you get something that you like. Just season your food. A lot of people think cauliflower rice is like trash and you probably 
You gotta season it. Alone, yeah, it's not gonna taste good. But when you add stuff to it, it is a W. That's really good, man. Damn. The thing that sucks about wings is you can't eat a lot of them because not exactly the most calorie friendly kind of meat. Like most things that taste good. Man, that's, that's really good though. When you see me start like nibbling that stuff, that's when you know. Wingstop makes lemon hot and I think lemon and garlic. I think those are the two mashups. I just put all three. These are the kind of meals that most people don't necessarily care about, but the real ones, if you know, you know. Guess what I'm watching for the seventh time? Seven. And if you haven't watched it once, I don't know what you're doing. But I started rewatching Game of Thrones again. I watched it twice in 2020 when we were all stuck inside. Literally, I watched it once and then turned around and watched it again. I don't know. It's just such a good show. Those who know, know. A lot of people, I couldn't get into it. I feel you. But it's so good. Like, especially in the beginning. Like, the, the, the first, like, four seasons. I'm on, like, season three already. I've been watching for, like, a week or two. And I'm the kind of person that, like... I'm good at multitasking, so I watch it like while I'm doing other stuff. Like I'll literally be editing videos, and it'll be on like in the background, or while I'm cooking, walking my dogs, working out. I'm like and once I get going, I get going. I'm sure anybody walking past my studio when I'm working out at night, and you hear like swords clanging, and <laughs> people are like, "What the hell is that guy?" Because I have it like loud. But I don't be caring. I'll be working out. People be walking past. Like, because it's, it's in a neighborhood, you know what I'm saying? It's not, like, in a commercial area. It's in a neighborhood. So, like, the windows be, I like, there's big, I guess I never really show. I've done a few things where I recorded a little bit. You ever see the windows are, like, the big glass windows, you know? You can see in. Um, I have, like, blinds, but you can see in there. I can only imagine what we going through people's head when it's, like, 9.30 p.m., and you just see like this dude in like a small ass tank top or sometimes no tank top. I shouldn't say that because some of y'all nasty, but you're coming past and you just hear like swords clanging and this dude just like throwing plates in the air and <laughs> stuff. But when I work out, I really don't know what's going on around me. I have to lock the door because somebody can come in and kick me right in the head. Don't get any ideas either. I know some of y'all like, no. I got cameras. Don't come around here messing with me while I'm in workout. Yeah. I just yawn, now I'm pure. But, Game of Thrones is like probably one of my favorite shows ever. I couldn't give you a like ranking. I'm not good at picking favorites. I can usually give you like a little list, but I'm working on a couple of lists because people have been asking, I did a few Movie reviews in the last week or so, because I went to the movies like three times. Um, so people are asking, so I've been trying to put together like a ranking. Because I want to do like the MCU, the Marvel films. And there's like 25 of them, so. It's always tough for me to pick, like, to be like, what's your favorite this ever? I'm like, I don't know. It depends on the day, you know what I'm saying? I can usually give you like a like a bunch of them when I have to start picking favorites. It gets tough. I can give you favorites within like a genre. You know what I mean? But like like favorite Batman, I can give you that. But favorite movie ever? Tough. Favorite horror movie ever? That's tough. I should try to do that. Like favorite top 10 horror movies I've ever seen. 
But even then, like, are you talking slashers? I don't like the supernatural stuff. Y'all watch those? Like, the, like, like the, the exorcisms? Like, I don't like that. I don't know. I don't know. It's just not, not for me, bro. I like, 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 Freddy. Like, I like other slasher films, but I think slashers are my favorite. You know? Like, Chucky, Freddy, Michael Myers, you know, Jason. Jason's kind of mid, to be honest. Y'all watch Friday 13? Friday 13? I gotta look, because I'm, all of a sudden, I'm, I just... This is probably an unpopular opinion. In its entirety, there are, at this point, what, like 11 Friday the 13th films? Something like that? I know there's Jason, obviously Friday the 13th, it goes all the way up to 7, and there's 8, and there's Jason X, and there's the remix, so there's like 11, right? As a whole, they kind of suck. Is that, is that like unpopular? Is it just me? Friday the 13th, the first one, sucks. The second one, when Jason's actually, he's not in the first movie. People don't know that. Oh, like if you're a horror fan, you know, but some people don't really realize that. You think of Friday the 13th, you think of Jason. But in the first one, the killer is actually his mother. And she's coming to avenge him with the camp because they let him die. She blames them for starts offing campers. But it was kind of bad. The second one was decent. The third one was pretty good. And then it just goes off the rails. Because then he gets the lightning bolt and then he turns into like, Jason can run. Hmm. And there's one called Jason Takes Manhattan. Boy, is that a bad movie. People who've never watched Friday the 13th. It's legendary. And Jason is... Le but it kind of sucks. And I'm going to give you a weird one. I might have to rank the Jason films because they most of them suck. Jason X is a horrible movie. It's in space. Jason, but he gets like the uber Jason, like the metal mask. And it's one of my favorite ones. And no one likes it. But as a whole, most of it is like... Just kind of boring. Like, it literally just regurgitates the same story over and over again. Jason wakes up. Uh oh, he's up. And then there's some people, some teenagers, they're drinking, doing other stuff they probably shouldn't be doing. And then he just comes through and he starts offing them. And there's one left. There's some variations, but that's if you haven't seen any of them, that's pretty much the story. And there's one left, and they kind of win, but then at the end, they're like, shh, 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 and he's like still kind of alive or not alive, and even though he dies, he comes back. I don't know. Mid. I'm going to give you another one. Halloween, as a whole, sucks. I said it. The first Halloween goaded. Don't get me wrong. First Halloween, like the original, where Michael Myers didn't have a name, he was just called The Shape. Goaded. It was tense. Jamie Lee Curtis, you know, she like she she was the OG screen queen. And she comes through. And she survives and then Halloween two. And then Halloween three doesn't have Michael Myers in it. Um I'll give you another weird fact. I don't know how I got on this topic, but Halloween three, the name of the movie is called Season of the Witch. The original point of Halloween was not to be about Michael Myers. It was supposed to be an anthology of scary stories that happened on Halloween. The problem was after the first one, it was so successful that they wanted to bring him back for the second one, which they did. If you watch Halloween 1 and 2 and Halloween 2, Michael Myers actually ceases to be. Right? There's no spoiler. The movie freaking 30-something, 40 years or whatever it is. But Dr. Loomis sacrifices himself and Michael is gone. So Halloween 3 comes out called Season of the Witch, which is about this company that has these masks that are like possessed. I'm trying to paraphrase it. And they play this message on Halloween like a blinking TV screen. And then the people who wear the masks do bad stuff. Okay. 
people were so pissed off that Michael Myers wasn't there in the film because they didn't realize that it wasn't supposed to be Michael Myers. That they forced them, the, you know, the movie showrunners, writers, to bring back Michael Myers for Halloween 4, 5, and 6, and it sucked. First two, you know, first one, phenomenal. Second one, eh, third one, different story, not a bad movie, but, eh. And then it just goes off the rails. And that happens with a lot of horror movies, especially the long-running ones. So... Halloween 6 and the Revenge of Michael Myers. And, okay, there was one, I forgot which number it is, but he's got freaking eyebrows, okay? Yeah, put a, my eyebrows on his mask, bro. I'm not making this up. You can go look it up. I forgot which one it is. We're right in the cover. It's fucking, I, oh, terrible. So, us millennials didn't, weren't alive for those. Maybe you were if you were, like, born in the 80s, but, like, what do they call it? Elder millennials? Doesn't matter. When I was a kid, they brought it back. It was called H2O. Had LL Cool J with no hat, which he always had. He's like me. LL Cool J has got a hat on. But in the movie, he has a milk dud head. I don't got a milk dud head, I promise. But they brought him back for that movie. That was the first Halloween I ever saw. And it was okay. But they made it very millennial. Like Josh Hartnett was in it. And one of them Dawson's Creek people. Maybe she wasn't in Dawson's Creek. But she, they all look like. That's horrible to say. You get what I'm saying. Like all of the teen, screamy type. You know. But it was that kind of movie. It was okay, but these movies made us millennials go back and watch all these old horror movies. Um, and then, <laughs> what they were thinking with this one, bro? They made another one called Halloween Resurrection. Look this up, bro. They put Buster. <laughs> I can't even say it without laughing. Stop. Hold on. <laughs> they put Buster Rhymes in a horror movie, bro. He goes back to his house, and there's like these people making this like. You gotta think, this was like, that era, you're talking like, this is like maybe 2000-ish, but reality TV had just gotten like really popular, so it was like billions of reality shows back then, and it all had to do with people going in the house or holding cameras, it was all the same shit, but, you know, now reality TVs are like celebrities or like married stuff, but back then it was just like, they just put some people in a house and said, let's see what happens, bro, all right, like OG real world, y'all know, but people, you know, if you're, if you're millennial or Gen Xers and so on, Y'all know what I'm talking about. It was nuts. So, they made it like a reality. They made it very millennial. But Buster Rhymes was in it, and he was like, you ain't about to kill me. Ah. <laughs> it wasn't bad, but... They, was just, they were just milking shit, you know? So, if there's like nine Halloween movies, then, then Rob Zombie got a hold of it. Now, Rob Zombie, his movies actually aren't that bad. A lot of people didn't like his Halloweens. The first Rob, there's two. The first Rob Zombie remake, this is in the 2000s, I believe. Yeah, because I was like, no, oh, teenager, but. Rob Zombie's first one was actually pretty good. It wasn't bad. But then he made a second one. Oh, oh God, it's bad. So they got mad and they scrapped it again. They just keep bringing him back, so they brought him back again. Now they retcon, which means they got rid of everything in the whole series besides Halloween 1. Brought back Halloween. Like, what they call it? Was it Halloween 2? Or it might just call it Halloween. I don't know what the hell they called it, but they brought it back in 2018. Now they're redoing another one after they made like a... It's, so those were decent, but the ones in the middle? Trash. A lot of these slasher movies were actually really bad. Which led to Slasher films literally just dying off by the time I was alive. You know, most of the slasher films were in the 80s, and then the 90s, it just went, like, just goodbye. Nobody wanted to watch them anymore. So people think Michael Myers and Jason were good. Like, they really weren't, bro. A couple of them, but they really got bad. Freddy, same thing. Nightmare on Elm Street 1's phenomenal. Second one is horrible. Third one is good. Fourth one is, eh. Fifth is terrible. Oh, bad. But... Again, millennials, y'all know what I'm talking about. 1996, they brought out Scream. And Scream was basically a satire of all those movies. 
but it drummed up the interest again. They started bringing back all the horror movies. Freddy, Jason, Freddy vs. Jason, Michael Myers, they brought them all back. But Scream did that. I could probably tell this story now. Scream was actually one of the first movies I ever watched. Went to the movies to see. I was a kid. I wasn't supposed to go. <laughs> um, but me and my friends decided to get this grand idea to take the bus. They let us go on the bus. They gave shit. They let kids on the bus. They went to super bad and go. So we took the bus to the mall. There was a movie theater at the mall. So we took the bus there. And we couldn't get in because it was rated R. So like most stupid kids in the 90s, what we did was we bought tickets to see it was a, it was like a, like a PG-13, like, not even PG-13, like a, like a PG, you know, cartoon type movie. And then we just snuck on in and watched Scream. Not that I'm getting in trouble for it, I'm a grown ass man now, but. And we were all like, kind of scared, you know, because you're a kid. But it made us like start watching all those old movies. We watched Scream. I don't know how many times a bunch. Yeah. But that was what started my horror movie, like, thing. It was right around that time again. Kids, we were in, like, elementary school, and it was, I think it was maybe a year later or same year. I don't know. I'm old now, but Titanic dropped, like, right around that time. And people want to see Titanic, like, I'm not even joking. You, and, 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 as a kid, bro, you weren't cool unless you saw Titanic like like eight times. People used to brag about it. Y'all don't know. So like, there wasn't movies at that big ever. Now every movie does a billion, like a billion, you know, sold. But back then, it was so uncommon. Y'all don't know how big Titanic was when it came out. Nothing was like Titanic. Now every movie does a billion, but back then, it wasn't like that. But as kids, bro, people go watch Titanic like nine times, ten times. Especially the young, like, like the, 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 the girls my age. Because everybody liked Leonardo DiCaprio. He was like the coolest person ever. You know, the boat and the jack and blah. You remember time you see Titanic? No. Yeah. So I ain't gonna watch this shit. I come mad. I was a little smart ass kid. I was mad. I still to this day think that he could he could have lived. Like I, it's, it bothers me. I won't even watch it anymore. It's a good movie though. It's good, you know. But if y'all watch the movie, I'm sure everybody's seen Titanic by now. I hope you have. Rose, which is Kate Winslet, is on this door. Yeah, I know so many people are probably screaming at the phone because y'all know what I'm about to say. She's on this door. The boat on is in the ocean already. It's gone, right? And she's on this door, and he's on the side of the door. It's a big door. It's big. And he's on the side of the door just floating, right? Like this. And he's like, I want you to go on. And he and he like he just stayed there and froze to death, man. And she was just like, it's okay. Like, go find something or get on the boat. Oh man, no. Mm -mm. I'll bring you back. I got PTSD watching that shit. Let me know if you think that the cop real could have survived. I've been mad as hell. Like, yeah, I would have let my lady, my girl, whatever. But I went and found some shit. Something. He just stayed there like an icicle. What the hell? Uh, nah. If I survive at the time the biggest boat ever, I'm, I made it through that stage. I'm not going. I'm not going out by just. I'm up. Find something. I don't know. He didn't even look. She just took a nap. She woke up. He was an icicle. Hmm. But I got a bone. The whole point was Titanic was like a phenomenon back then. You know, you know how y'all might feel about like it was another big movie. Avatar was big, but it didn't have that same vibe. To it. Titanic had a vibe to it. I don't know. Maybe it's just because I was super young. You know how when you're younger, you think everything's better. I don't think there was ever like a buzz like Titanic. And I know like Infinity War and Endgame Avengers were huge, but 
did y'all go see Endgame like nine times? Like, I'm telling you, everybody saw Titanic like ten times in the movie theater. I'm not joking. And there was legit no movie like that. And don't say Star Wars. I'm the biggest Star Wars fan ever. And Star Wars did not have that same buzz. Star Wars was, I'm not, I wasn't alive, but Star Wars was huge. But not Titanic huge. You know what the craziest thing is? Till this day, the biggest movie ever in money, like you adjust it for inflation. That's a big, obviously, movie tickets cost a lot more now than they used to. But if you adjust for inflation, the biggest movie to date is Gone with the Wind. I don't know how many people must have went to watch that shit back then? I think it was like 1939. I don't know off the top of my head, but I think it's 39. But if you adjust for inflation, Gone with the Wind is one of the top, like the, the top movie. You know, that's the other thing too. Y'all don't because you know, talk about these movies doing all this money in a billion. Movie tickets in the 90s were like five dollars, bro. Now they're like 20. I think they were like five dollars. I don't remember, but I know it was like at least less than 10. Now. I went to the movies on Saturday to watch Morbius, bro. But I, you know, I go to the bougie theater. I'm not gonna lie. I go to the one with the recliners and shit. I'm not gonna sit here and cap. But it cost twenty four dollars a ticket, bro. What? I'm not joking. I don't like talking about money like that, like money I spend or whatever. Um, but I paid for the movie. Because I'm a dumbass. I paid for the movie. And I paid for the like the, the concessions. Like all that. I'm not, I hate discussing numbers. It cost $213, bro. A f I'm cursing. A fucking movie. <laughs> I'm not joking. Because again, I go to one that's like a dine-in one. So let's just keep it funky. If you pay for like four tickets, right? You know? Four tickets at $24 a piece. Y'all can do math, bro. Like, $96, bro. For a movie, bro. You go to a Yankee game for less than that. Nah, but the tickets at least. You're going to bleachers. But, so if you get, you know, like a popcorn combo, like a large popcorn and a large drink, is like $20, bro. Right? So, do the math. <laughs> You get four a piece, right? And then you have like a convenience fee and tax. And I got, I okay, I also got, um, I got the gourmet popcorn. I got like the caramel and the cheese joints. I was, you know, it is what it is. And then I got, um, um, what the hell? It was like a quesadilla. I got a quesadilla. And you could get like chicken fingers and like, you know, like pizza. Like it's that. And they come and bring it to you. It's cool. Um, but like a quesadilla is like seventeen dollars, bro. <laughs> so it was like two hundred and like two hundred and thirteen, two hundred and fourteen dollars for a movie. A movie, bro. <laughs> you get what I'm saying? So, and you add the ticket sales for this, like they they got a hundred out of me. <laughs> so it was just like back then, I'm not even joking. If you went to the movies back then, like twenty dollars, bro, like popcorn movie ticket, uh, soda. But the re all that and you fifteen dollars, seventeen, eighteen dollars, even back then. Um, and if you went to a matinee, it was like because my mom used to always go matinees, and we went like after school, we would like take the bus, so it was like like eight dollars, like the whole thing, everything, like because they give it to you cheap. Even now, if you go to the movies during the afternoon, it's cheaper, it's like thirty percent less. Um, but I went Saturday night, Saturday night at the eight o'clock show, like the prime time slot, bro. But yeah, it's like $200. By the way, if you're going to do movies and you... Everything is AMC these days, at least I think so. Around here, like, if you go to a movie theater, it's a 90% chance it's AMC. Um, and you want, and you don't like movies like I do, go to the to that. Like, do the, 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 the dine-in or just do, like, one that has the recliners because the movie was sold out. Like, there was no seats available, but because the way the seats are set up, like, I didn't even notice there were people there. So even me, who hates crowds, I don't like people, right? Because they be, like, fucking snoring and shit. Like, I don't like movies. I like watching movies in my privacy. But with that, like, I felt like I was just chilling at my house or something. You know what I'm saying? Because, like, you can't even see the people in front of you because of the way it is. So it's dope. Um, the one I go to with, like, every, the whole theater, every theater, like, one through eight are all recliners and, like, dining. 
So, if you don't like movies like I do, you want to kind of do that, it's dope. And they got a pass for it. They got a movie pass. It's like, I, they should pay me for this shit. <laughs> um, they got a movie pass. It's like, I think it's like $20 a month. And you can see up to three movies a week. Um, that's if you're, if you're a person who likes going to movies, like look into that. It's kind of dope. Um, yeah, I think I'm going to do that because I've gone to like three movies and I ain't doing no concessions though. Somebody else paying this time, <laughs> but, uh, I think I'm going to get the pass cause I'm, I, it's kind of helping and, um, I want to do more movie reviews cause if you don't notice, I'm just as passionate about movies as I am and like cinema and television and shit like that as I am about food as I am about sports. I have a lot of things that I'm just very like passionate about and I feel like all I've done is food. And you can kind of hear me talking about the other stuff and you know, but I can I can go into like crazy details when it comes to like food, movies, sports, music. Um, I don't give a shit about fashion. Y'all can tell. I don't really care about that. But a whole bunch of other stuff too. I don't want to get into it. History too. Somebody said I should be make a history YouTube channel. I I'm I read history in my spare time. <laughs> like when it comes to stuff like that, I know a lot of weird, obscure kind of stuff. And don't give me this third eye woke book. I'm talking about like history books, okay? Not like I saw a picture of a this and it, it means this and all that. I'm not conspiracy theory, no tinfoil hats. I'm saying it actually happened. We saw it happen and this is what it is. Anyway, um, let me get up out of here. What am I doing tomorrow? I think I'm in the kitchen. Anyway, if y'all probably bored as hell, no matter. I love y'all though. <laughs> we'll be back tomorrow with more content. The hand signs, they made it to YouTube.